Hello everybody, it's Rick with Stumped, here today playing a brand new game called The Soulless Project. This is a game that's still in early access, but still is super fun to play. I've played around with it a little bit, and uh, just learning the basics. Now I'm excited to play it with you guys for the first time. Let's go ahead and get into a new game. In the year 2115... Scientists identified a rogue class B star traveling towards us. Earth and the solar system would be destroyed. The Prola ships launched in 2149, three giant colony ships which carried thousands to a safe zone near Pluto. In 2151, the Earth was destroyed. With nowhere to go, our last resources were scrambled and five scout ships were sent to five distant worlds. These pioneers began our first interstellar journey to go where no man has gone before. Our last chance at survival is known as the Soulless Project. So this is like a, it's like Interstellar the game, kind of. In Interstellar, the Earth was dying, not because a friggin' rogue star was heading to it. Fifteen years later, mission TSP-3 arrives at Galici 6143C. And, okay, this is where it starts to get good, guys. Here's our ship. And here is the planet. We're scouting. We're seeing if this is habitable. Habitable? Is this going to be the place that we're going to call home? But keep an eye peeled, guys, because I missed this the first time I played through this. Watch. Watch right underneath the ship. You'll see right there that green flash of light. What was that? I didn't notice this before. What? Something on that planet has shot us down. And so immediately, I'm getting Subnautica vibes from this, right? Same thing happened in Subnautica. We're looking for planets to colonize. We get shot down by a mysterious beam of light. Vata? Yuri, can you hear me? Where is everyone? Did anyone make it to the drop pods? Eamon, Lars, is anyone there? Nominal atmospheric readings. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. Well, maybe phenomenal readings, but we're happy with the nominal readings. Nominal's good. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous game. This gorgeous planet. It's like we found... I mean, this is better than Earth, really. I mean, like, who needs Earth? We... Okay, we fell. We fell out of the escape pod. A bad start, but... I mean, who needs Earth when we've got this place? It's so nice looking. It's very pretty. Air's breathable, I guess. It's nominal, right? Okay, so here we go. Game starts out. We're going to pick normal difficulty. We're going to use Fahrenheit, but we'll go ahead and use uh, metric on everything else. Uh, I don't know. Celsius. I don't know how to convert it. Sorry. Uh, the rest of the world. We're using Fahrenheit, okay? And we just picked up our little PDA. Which is called Wilson, okay? So, Wilson, you're going to see what Wilson can do. And you're going to see that we can interact with items by either picking them up or crafting them, okay? So, I'm going to give you guys the rundown real quick. We're not going to waste any time learning all of this stuff. Quiet down, you. I know all about it, Wilson. So, since I have two rocks, I can take them and I can combine them. See, I can use that to create... A sharp rock, all right? Now that I have a sharp rock, though, there's really no need to hold on to my big clunky rock. I'm going to drop it. Sharp rock's all we need. And it's going to tell us a little something about... Here we go. 
cable can be cut. So what do I do? I use my sharp rock, cut the cable, bam. Now I got some cable. Pretty sweet. This is going to tell me uh, how I can sleep and look at my stats and whatnot. And this is going to tell me what I can see on my little PDA here. So Wilson, it gives us our health right at the top, our body temperature, our calorie count, uh, our hydration there. Tells us when we need to sleep. So we've got 15.6 hours before we need to sleep. Right there's the atmospheric temperature, the humidity, and of course the wind speed. So that's the rundown of the PDA. Now we can really get started in this game. So the first kind of things that we're gonna do is, this is all sort of tutorial stuff. We've got cans of food, they're sealed up, but naturally we'll combine them with a rock and open them up to eat. And then we've got some bottled water here. We've got this, which is a, a pipe. And of course the food there. Now, there should be another area that's got some goodies over here. Yeah, here we go. Please follow survival training. I know all about survival training, okay? It's so I'm going to pick up, all up in flames. the stuff that we need. I need to last long enough to report something back to Prolos Command. Oh, we will. Better have a look around and see if anything or anyone survived. So like I said, I played like the first 10 minutes, okay? I got my bearings. I figured out the basics of this game. So this rocket mysteriously is still on, but this is teaching us how the temperature is affected by things that are emitting flames, you see? Back here, surface temperature, 63.9 degrees. As I get closer to this though, look at that. Whoa, it gets way hotter. So if it gets cold, we can warm ourselves by standing next to something hot, but of course, we don't want to get too hot now. And the forward vector, this is basically our waypoints. It's going to tell us how to get to places. So we've got some canned food. I'm not going to pick up all the canned food. We don't need to pick up everything. As you can see, we only have a certain amount of slots. And we don't want to fill them up with stuff that we're not going to use. Here we go. So we just analyzed this. This is dry roots, which is burnable which is great to know. We can use our sharp, sharp rock here. Take some of that burnable stuff. Oh, but inventory's full. That's a bummer. It's okay, we can combine it with this. This is what we wanna do. And caves can provide shelter, it says. Like right here, we can drink this water, that's great. Get all hydrated, right? But look at how cold it is in this cave. As we go all the way back here, it's 18.1 degrees. Sure, it might give us shelter, but it's freezing back here. So we're not going to spend a lot of time in this cave. So note to self, when you're playing this game, if you find a cave and you're trying to take shelter, mind the, the temperature because you don't want to freeze to death. And we can scavenge food. So right here we've got a plant. It's edible. But inventory is full. What did I tell you about the inventory filling up so quickly? Um, so what are we going to drop? I'm going to drop some of these... We don't need these. I'm gonna just drop you. Drop you as well. There we go. Which gives us space for food, and now we can eat this food, you see? Eat this delicious plant. Eat, eat, damn you. There we go. Just gotta hold it down. So I have eight, that's fantastic, which means I can pick up this stick again. And now our next forward vector is telling us to come over here, because we've created this torch, but we need to dip it in oil first so that we can make it flammable. And then, of course, we can go up to the open flame and sort of try to stick it into the open flame. Let's see. Don't want to get burnt here. Don't get too close. Come on. Ignite. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> now we have a torch. So now we got our food. We got our water. We got our torch. Now we can start to go do some exploring and act one the awakening starts whoa what are these things those are gross and look at would you why are there vhs tapes everywhere oh we've got a oh we've got satellite receiver hello looks like we're connecting oh Other colony ships here in the fleet are getting empty. We 
Oh. You're creepy. You guys are creepy. It's like little eyeballs in there. Okay, well, that was the colony ship. They wanted to check on us. Well, they're not going to be hearing uh, from us anytime soon. Uh, really, I'm curious to know why we're still using VHS technology in the future. Do you <laughs> I guess in the uh, the great race between Blu-ray and VHS, VHS just won out. C congratulations, VHS. I mean, you took like a 30-year break, but I always knew you'd make a comeback. All right, wh wh where's our vectors now? Uh, do I have a vector? What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, we, we got that radio signal. That was great. I got my torch. Oh, by the way, my torch. So it's hot. Uh, my temperature right now is currently 99.1, which is a little bit hot for a human. So I'm going to actually put away my torch. There we go. Which will cool me off. No need to have my torch out while it's still sunny and stuff. What is this? Oh, more plant. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. I'm on an alien world and, uh, ooh, a beacon. Hello. Beacons allow you to mark a location. Oh, that's great. Okay. And this is Wilson PDA... Beacons 2, Med Packs 2, Backpack 2, Glow Stick 1. So this is a cargo manifest. Oh, wait. Where did everything go? This is... It's like somebody already got into this cargo. Wait. Are these televisions? What is with all this antiquated technology? We've got VHS tapes and televisions all over this beach. Uh, very, whoa, what is back here? What is going on back here? All right. In addition to being on an alien planet, I've got a lot of questions involving the use of all this old technology. Okay, we've got to find a way into the cave and investigate sound. Ooh, weird, creepy sounds coming from there. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a glow stick. Th okay, I'm thinking whoever got into that, uh, that cargo over there somehow made it down into here because they dropped one of their glow sticks. Okay, we need to get into this cave. How do we get in here? Uh, can I beat my way in with a bar? I'm gonna beat you. Just move out of the way. Come on. No, that's not gonna work. That's gonna take years to get that done. I don't got years. Oh, and you guys are gonna see these survival handbook things from time to time. Uh, that's just kind of tutorial stuff. I'm ignoring them because... Wait, whoa, I'm not gonna ignore this. What is this? Lost Artifact. Wrath of Utuku. Upgrades all resistances? What? Sweet! Artifacts and special equipment from your ship. Improve your attributes. Explore the world to find these and upgrade your abilities. Oh, sweet. Okay. So alien artifacts are going to give me special abilities. Oh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I am terrified of aliens, so I need all of the special abilities oh, I can get. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Like, even those guys are creeping me out. Whoa, wait, whoa. What's... What's that? What is that? Holy crap, that thing... Holy crap, that thing's gonna crash! What was that? Oh, man. I want to explore everything on... Keep your eye on your vital signs. Okay, my vitals look good. I'm a little bit hot. 98.6, that's what I'm supposed to be. Running a little bit hot, but... I guess stress will do that. The stress of crash landing on an bizarre alien planet. God, explosions everywhere. All right. Okay. What do we got here? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All sorts of stuff here. What's this? T teleport device. Hells yeah. Okay. Throw discs and then teleport. Okay. So I can push T to pull out the teleport device. Okay. Oh, bam. There we go. Okay. Let's try this out. So let's teleport over here. Okay, now I should just be able to go. Oh, snap! Oh! That's how we're getting to get into that one place, guys. That's how we're gonna do it. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, energy food. Oh, that's like a ton of calories. Those are really good. Uh, we've got a med pack, and we've got some water. I've got water, right? I do. I have three waters. I feel like I should take this energy food because that sounds super helpful. But I think I need to clear out some space first. Let's drop this stupid rod. Take that. Okay. I can only take one of those. Maybe two? No, just one. 
All right, before I go back to try to figure out how to get into that one place, I feel like we should go do a little bit of poking around here. I'm not done exploring yet. I want to find all of this planet's secrets. All right, I'm going to try to avoid the water. I don't know if the water is bad or harmful, but I don't want to... Oh, okay, I touched it. It didn't kill me. It's not like acid water or something. And that's good. Okay, whoa. Oh, I hear trickling. Oh, speak, whoa. What, what is that sound? Oh, God! There's stuff falling left and right. This is insanity. Okay, it's just uh, water trickling here. We've got some rocks. Delicious water. Okay, drink that. Just gonna drink till I'm full. Drink a little bit more. How about a little bit more? Come on, fill up with that water, baby. There we go. Water's okay. When it says okay, that means that you're full. You've had your fill. Now let's keep exploring and hopefully not get pelted by falling spaceship debris, which seems to be everywhere. What was that? I swear I'm hearing things. Okay, planet. You be cool. I'll be cool, all right? I don't want any friggin' aliens popping up behind me and, like, giving me the jump scares, all right? Ooh. Ooh, what do we have over here? Okay. I wonder if I can make it over there. Let's see. Gonna get a little bit of wet here. A little bit wet. Okay, good. It's just, like, ankle deep. Just wade through the water. Oh, a little bit deeper. Water exposure lowers your temperature. Okay. Okay. Just just a little wet. Just a little wet. Maybe we can pull out the torch and get dried off or something. Yes, I am. I wonder if I pull out the torch if it'll dry me. Let's find out. It is raising my body temperature, so that's good. Okay, we've got water. We've got a beacon. What else? Just a bunch of supplies. We've got a note. Is this an, an important note? We held an intervention for Sophia, and she cheered up a bit. I gave her some... Uh, she's back to work now. Shared the good news with her. We're certain there's complex plant life down there, not just microbes. She's back on board, I think. I wonder what the intervention was about. I think she had a... Sophia had a problem with something. She was, like, eating too many Twinkies or something. They were like, come on, Sophia. There's only enough Twinkies to go around, and it's really not fair that you're eating them all. Intervention. Twinkievention. Man. Oh, man. How good are Twinkies? Oh. Now all I'm going to do is think about eating Twinkies all day. Okay, keep that torch above water. You don't want that thing going out. Well, thanks for the reminder. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening? Okay, it, the weather is taking a turn for the worst. Is this shelter? Okay, I think this is shelter. Okay. Whoa! God, things are getting intense now. Why is the music getting so intense? Um, oh god. Okay, it's getting stormy. Oh my god, is that- Holy moly! That's a friggin' tornado! Okay. Um, this planet has tornadoes. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not down with that. How's- how's- Whoa, how's my body temperature doing? Temperature's still doing okay. Oh god, it's getting really loud. It's very loud. Okay! Yeah, I kind of want that tornado to go away. Um... Shoot! Okay, go! Don't get sucked up by the tornado! Ah, oh my god! Ah! Oh, tornado! Ah! I died an unfortunate death. Your failure means the end of mankind. Okay. Uh, so, tornadoes. What What the hell was that? What the hell is that? It's a plant that just hopped. You guys saw that plant hop. Plants aren't supposed to hop. I'm not going to eat no hopping plant, all right? Okay, well, we're back. Good news is we're back. Do I still have my teleporter? I don't. I haven't found that yet. We're back to the cave entrance with teleporter in hand. Let's go figure out what the heck is making that crazy sound. 
Okay, let's see if we can do this. All right, we're going to launch it. All right. Yeah, good shot. Now we're going to teleport it. Super duper, super good so far. Can I pick this thing up? Oh, I could if uh, my inventory isn't full. Let me drop this stupid pipe. I don't need you. Yeah, I got a glow stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this glow stick is not glowy enough. It is way too dark. We need a torch. Ha, ah, that's way better. Okay, we're in the cave. Oh, God. In leaving area, zero tower parts and 12 secrets left to be found nearby. Whoa, okay. We're going to be going into the new area, guys. But before we leave this area, that's good to know. There are tower parts and there are 12 secrets. So we'll have to get to the bottom of these uh, these secrets and these tower parts. Okay, uh, anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, give uh, this video a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Oh, uh, there's so much left to do in Solus. So many mysteries to explore. And uh, we'll be doing it on Wednesday. I'll see you guys then. Oh my god. This is a giant statue up here. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, that's, uh... Yeah, that's... That's creeped me out.